Sawadika, welcome to PGTV News. My name is Abel Wanamakog. Thank you for joining me today. Let's take a look at today's top story. Dr. Platsasup Sura Sawadi, Assistant Minister of the Prime Minister's Office, today compared the status of Thailand's National Disaster Warning Center, or NDWC, to that of an abandoned toilet. His scathing remark was made at the opening of a three-day convention on coral reef research and management at the Phuket Aquarium. As a former director of the NDWC, he said he would use his current position to lobby cabinet for the NDWC to be an independent agency. The NDWC established by the Tuxin administration after the tsunami was placed under the Thai Meteorological Department by the government of Surayutunanon. That move has harmed the NDWC's effectiveness to the extent that he compared the agency's current status with that of an abandoned toilet. Formerly, the NDWC could issue warnings independently, but now all alerts must first be approved by both the Meteorological Department and Prime Minister's Office. The resulting delays could cost many lives if another disaster strikes suddenly, he said. Dr. Plat Prasop said that the enormous death toll in Burma's Irrawaddy Delta region as a result of Cyclone Nargis would have been much lower if Burma had a disaster warning center in place. He said that the current tsunami early warning system is also incomplete and ineffective, with just a single direct detection buoy too far from the Thai coast to give ample warning time. On the topics being discussed at the convention, Dr. Pratpasup called for strict controls on diving at vulnerable reefs. He also said, although Thailand's efforts to restore degraded reefs and build artificial ones are still in the early stages, they have so far been successful. Saying that Thailand's coral reefs were deteriorating day by day, he also encouraged government officers to work hard at protecting these vital resources. An update to the recent stolen coffin story, Takwapa District Police are on the lookout for two former cemetery workers who confessed to stealing 11 70-kilogram coffins worth an estimated 400,000 baht from a storage facility at Bang Maruan Cemetery. Cemetery manager Nitinai Song Song Kram filed a report with Takwapa Police on April 27th after discovering that 11 of 40 coffins, which were intended for tsunami victims, had gone missing. Following police advice, Kun Nitinai monitored workers at the cemetery and began to suspect two caretakers of stealing the coffins, one of whom confessed taking the coffins and selling them as scrap. The thieves allegedly used an enclosed pickup truck with a high roof to take the coffins out of the cemetery. The two suspects are currently at large. A local scrap dealer, identified only as Montri, said that scrap aluminum currently fetches about 70 baht per kilogram, but that no shop would be likely to accept a new complete coffin as scrap. At local rates, the 11 coffins would have fetched more than 50,000 baht as scrap. The missing coffins were bought by Thailand Tsunami Victim Identification Center with funds provided under an 88 million baht joint donation by countries whose nationals perished in the disaster. Phuket Provincial Police Chief Major General De Chaput Dampet today warned motorists that they have until May 19th to break the habit of talking on a mobile phone without using a hands-free set while driving or face being fined. Although the new law came into effect yesterday, General Decha said that local police will not fine motorists for breaking the law until May 19th, after which they face a fine of 400 to 1,000 baht. He added that police have a public awareness campaign underway to remind tourists of the new law. The new law is to prevent accidents, as people who usually talk on the phone while behind the wheel will be able to concentrate more on driving. The new law will apply to both car and motorbike drivers. 
Now let's take a look at today's weather forecast. Today we can expect mostly cloudy weather with a high temperature of 32 and a low of 25 degrees Celsius. Winds are from the west-northwest direction at 14 kilometers per hour. If you like to see the sunrise and the sunset, they can be expected at approximately 6.10 a.m. and 6.37 p.m. And now let's see how the currency is doing today. So, how do you know we're looking for a manager? Saw your ad in the Phuket Gazette. Gazette. Yeah, here. Classified ads. Sure, that's the Phuket Gazette. Hmm. Your resume says you're perfect in English. So why do you say Gazette? It's Gazette. Okay, okay, Gazette. Perfect. You've got the job. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in Phuket? Stay tuned for our current events. The Punchline Comedy Club, in association with the London Comedy Store, has lined up another triple dose of boisterous British humour with a night of live stand-up comedy from three of the UK's top comedians at the Holiday Inn Resort on May the 14th. Paul Thorne, Tom Rigglesworth and Ian Moore will take to the stage with their adult brands of humour from 8.30pm to 11pm. There will be two glass-filling intervals between acts and the chance for a member of the audience to win a prize for their wit in the Silly Joke competition. Tickets can be bought in advance for 960 baht or 1,200 baht on the door. Tickets are available from Woody's Sandwich Shops. For further details, log on to World Wide Web, PhuketComedy.com. The British International School PTA is having its maiden Dinner and Dance 2008. Join in for a fun evening and dance the night away at the Laguna Beach Resort on Saturday the 17th of May from 6.30pm until 2am in the morning. Dress code is Smart Dress. Tickets cost 2,500 baht per person, which includes welcome drinks, a buffet dinner with 10 per table, open bar, a live band, charity auctions and raffle prizes emceed by Martin Carpenter. And for all you dedicated football fans, you can watch the FA Cup final on a big screen. Tickets are available at Flint's One Coffee Shop at the British International School or through the primary and secondary offices. So, don't miss out on what will be an evening to remember. Buy your tickets soon before they sell out. And that is all for today's edition of PGTV News. Thank you for watching. My name is Abel Wanamakog. Don't forget you can also watch us online at any time at www.pugetgazette.net/tv. Sawadee ka.